Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Welcome to round three. Uh, we've had two very exciting rounds so far, uh, where it's been absolutely vicious racing uh, towards the front. Um, but yeah, Miami. Uh, I, I heard it was a very interesting start in uh, E3 yesterday, from uh, from what I've heard. <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, it looked fairly, without any spoilers, it looked fairly difficult for you guys yesterday. Bit of a slippery start in the race. Um, we've got some announcements slash admin I feel we need to do here. Um, the driver leading the championship, or that was close to leading the championship, is no longer racing here at Contest of Speed. Uh, he has been found out to be a very naughty person. Uh, it was a banned driver that then came back on to another account. So, I th from what has happened, uh, he had obviously been disqualified. Uh, Mercedes have lost all those points, which is unfortunate for... Yes, get in! The other question... Yes. Yes. Uh, oh, I've got it. We will have a different championship. The other thing I would like to know, and I haven't been kept in the loop of it, but if the points have been reinstated for the positions to everybody else, if he had been disqualified. But there you go. Oh, um, oh, thank you, Mr. Mr. Brooksy. Right. Mr. Brooks. Can we hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now, Brooksy? I don't know what. I don't know what's going okay, on. I think it. I, yeah. Okay. So yeah. I think it's because um, I've I recently got a new desk and I was setting it all, the whole thing up. I have completely forgot to check uh, OBS to see if it was keeping track of the mic or not. Oops. My apologies. So, yeah, so in terms of the championship, uh, TLA leads the way then. I'll point to Malvin. Uh, Manu has also. Yeah, he has also. Left he, well, us as well. Yeah, he has left. Uh, uh, it's for unknown reasons, and the admins are aware of that. So oh, if he come, if he comes I back, have... if he comes back later, I think he'll be more than welcome back. I don't think he was particularly. Uh happy mixing it in with the big boys in EU1. If I'm yeah. being honest, coincidence. I Left think after not. The decision. I, did. I think not. Um, so, yeah, top two. Then we've got the likes of uh, Connell, uh, Stelcho, uh, Bike Craig's not here, so and Charlie. Um, that is about it. A lot. Of, yeah. Still a few guys yet to score points. Uh, Luke hasn't, but he's not here. Dave hasn't, he's also not here. Uh, and Mole hasn't scored any yet. And Sid has yet to score. So a few drivers yet to score. Hopefully they can do that this evening with a grid expectance of 16. Uh, no Rob Stein as of yet, as he is serving a qualifying ban. Not oh dear, naughty Rob. Serve on this. Not yeah, I, get a I would ban. assume that was, he's got the qualifying ban for the incident with Sid last week at Japan. And obviously there is no lanky one at the minute either. No, that would be a uh, an A. Well, uh, yes, that is for the collision that we saw Sid get a grid based penalty for from last week. Yep. There you go. That's all the admin side of things done. But right. So go. now we can focus on the racing. Correct. Obviously, we're at this we lovely can. Miami track. 
I, be I believe the race around a baseball stadium or something, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, it is the Miami Dolphins Stadium, which would be, if I'm on board with Almanac, it's out somewhere. Hard Rock well, Stadium, right? there's the answer. I just saw it from Charlie's POV. Obviously, man is going for another lap on those mediums. But man has done a 27 uh, 4 on medium, so he's not done too bad. He has. I was about hmm. to say, I'm expecting times uh, to be into the 26 low 26s, maybe a 25, yeah. uh, with the likes of Steltcho. That are and, and maybe that are still here with us. And maybe Grellis if he goes fast enough. Yes, yeah, so we've got. Uh, and then we've got four reserves in. Uh, we've got Pipe Tech, Andre, Grellis, and uh, Almanac. And this is where, like, I see in chat, uh, Nathan, who is my teammate in the U3, says, I'm here for a Charlie DNF. And Corey Brooks says the same. Mm -hmm. I was like, come Brooks, on, so lads. Have you, got, have you no me. faith in Charlie? I, I have faith. I have to keep the faith. Sid, you're, he's, uh... you're, you're in qualifying. Focus on your qualifying, not chat, bro. Get out of here, Sid. <laughs> F focus on, on this, this and no crashing, Mr. Safety Car Magnet. <laughs> Obviously jokes. No, no, no. no he's got to learn. No, he's got to be, uh, he's got to be humbled. Brought back down to earth. <laughs> he's got to learn the hard way. But yeah, it should be quite close then. Uh, now who the uh, and Manu have gone, but it's still the likes of Steer, TLA, Stelcho, uh, Charlie, Grelis. I'll say, Sid, uh, unless you're leaving well. the pits, we cannot spectate. Unless you leave the pits right now, I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> right, go on, get your little Red Bull, Red Bull rear out of the pits then. Go on. Uh, on his Charlie final has flyer. Just improved on those okay. mediums, by the way. Right, okay then, Sid. Right, so who's not done a lap that we can watch? So we'll see, 11 oh, of the... just finishing his. Uh, sorry, no, Tay's just sorry to finish his. Oh, he's up to uh, third. Uh, Elvin's what did you find Valid? difficult yesterday? Oof. What was the hardest part of the circuit? Okay, Sid, I get it. We'll, we'll watch your final lap then. Sure, so we'll do that. So yesterday, uh, qualifying was difficult. I feel like... Obviously, myself, I qualified, I think, P4 in the end. But, obviously, I went out as late as possible on the the dry tire, on so the soft tires. But, didn't quite hook up a decent lap. I, I, I thought I could have easily had it on the front row if I got it good enough. And then, in the race, nah. I made, I made mistakes and it, it did not end well. I think I finished seventh in the end. What do you, what do you, what's the hardest part of the circuit here that's, that's going to be difficult? We've Ooh. had a couple of tricky corners on the calendar so I would say, far. I would say I'm, I'm spectating Andres right now. I would say this bit, this uh, chicane here, which some people call the Mickey Mouse section for some reason. Is that, uh, yes. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Rob Star has joined. Just waiting on the lanky one. Obviously, we're spectating Hopefully. Andres here as he's coming down to the last few corners. Uh, it's a straight swap in down at Mercedes, by the way. Andre coming in from the EU3 Mercedes position into the mm -hmm. EU2 position. Yep. So, good As points indeed. for the Mercedes. Up to the line for That'll Andre. Be... He's done a 28 2. That puts him 10th for now. And obviously, the last yes. driver to set a lap is Melvin. As I said, that he's finishing a lap now and up to third goes the Alpine. Good lap wow. from them. We've... With nine minutes to go, everybody that's in the session set a qualifying time. That's nice. unusual. Very. Obviously, it's, obviously, Rob won't set a lap yet, and obviously, we're still waiting on the lanky one. Up oh, there's the Rob. There's a Rob Star. Rob, St Rob, Rob Star is there. Yep, Rob Star has finally yeah. joined, but obviously, he's serving a qualifying ban from last time out, so that's mm -hmm. unfortunate for him. Uh, well, TLA's just finishing his lap. By the way, uh, Pony, yep. and he's about a tenth. Oh, he's, he's, he's going to go into pits. Yeah, he's a tenth down, so he's not happy with that lap. He needs to find about two and a half tenths to catch up to Stelgio to try and challenge for Paul. Obviously, I believe Mel Melvin can easily challenge. Oh, hello, what have we got here? <laughs> I shall leave the people that are responsible for that. Yeah, I have. I'm being told to uh, just ban them quickly. Oh. So, but I'm having a tap out. 
we that's, haven't that's... got a problem with working with other people, but you need to approach us in a different matter rather yeah. than our Twitch comment section. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Andre is in. Uh, Amol has just done his lap. Stelcho oh. has Not bailed his out. Lap. So we have a break in proceedings with seven and a half minutes to go. Uh, so we're a little bit quiet. Charlie has come out now on a set of the red soft tyres. Well, he's about to start his lap, so we'll ride on board with Charlie. Yeah, we will do as he heads down as we do, towards. As, yep, as we he does a full lap. But obviously, on the power, down to turn one. Don't want to do what I did yesterday, break too late and completely miss the corner. And obviously, you got to immediately turn left for turn two and immediately back to. Immediately turn again for three and four. And a little straight up to five. Andres is uh, retired from the session, so he's just happy with his one lap. And round six, seven, and then the long. The long right hand, so the left hander of eight. There we go. I wouldn't even call these corners. That's nine, ten, uh, and eleven. Uh, uh, Bro Bro <laughs> Brooksy in chat is uh, molding that he doesn't have mod in the Twitch channel, even though he's still an admin for cos. <laughs> It'd be funny, Brooksy, if I've got mod rights and you haven't. And I think that actually is the case. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, ha I have mod rights too, because I'm a commentator. <laughs> uh, kind of Charlie, how much up. how much improvement is he going to do on these soft tires compared to his mediums? About five tenths. Uh, this Haas needs to get his ass out the way. I assume it is either um, Grelis or Almanac. Obviously, Almanac is fit has come up from EU3, filling in for today. Along with uh, Pipe Tech and uh, Andras. And obviously, Grillis is at EU2 Reserve. Charlie, up to the line then. So, 5 tenth improvement, which puts him currently, for now, 5 milliseconds behind Tier Laid. So, that is a good lap. That's Thanks. my boy. <laughs> Man is a Mercedes fanboy. Alright, let's, let's um, ride on board with, uh, with a Grillis. As he is now doing a lap, he wants to try and improve his time. It's currently a 28.4. Man oh, will want to look to get so faster. So much traffic. Oh dear, yep. Oh, and we've got Aston Martin's uh, doing their own little thing. Ammo yeah, here. they're both on an out lap, and yeah, Taze yeah. had to go past both of them, but I think yeah. uh, not too badly affected. Let's hope not. Sid is leaving. Boss. You're leaving the pits now, are you, Sid? All right. As soon as you start your lap, then we'll spectate you. Since you, re since you redeemed it with a thousand channel points. But obviously, I'm. I'm. We're following my ex team at Grillis as he's a 1.5 up on his previous best time, which would see him into the 26s, as the lanky one has finally joined the session. I believe it's like four minutes left, so he might get a time in if he goes out. He'll get a away. run out. I have faith in Lanky. He'll get one out there. Yep. He'll have anyway, time. Grillis out of the last few corners here. Up to the line. What's it going to be for the Haas? It is in the 26s. It's a 26.9, which puts him P5 for now. Uh, Tay bailed out of his uh, lap Melvin there on as a lap? well. No, he's two no, and a half bailed. temps down. But Melvin's on a, doing um, a double out lap. The corner I also struggle with, I seem to struggle with, is turn two. Uh, as as you're coming out to turn one and put in a bit yeah. of, trying to put a bit of power down, you have to be very uh, yeah, careful I, with the rear. Uh, where I struggle is the chicane after the Mickey Mouse ear. Oh. Just going to mm. ride on board with, you know, ride on board of Tia, see if he can improve. And then by the time Tia finishes, Sid should pretty much start. So he's half a tenth down, uh, which is a tenth better than his second run. So this is Tier's third he's, run. So he's used all yeah. three sets of softs. Well, he's giving uh, his teammate a massive toe. So his teammate is currently down in tenth. So we'll look to improve. As uh, Sid has finally started his lap. No, Sid's out of the last couple of corners now. 
Well, since Sid, still... well, Sid has now started his lap since he redeemed it on with channel points on the cost, which we'll have to oblige it. So, uh, Tears just gone a tenth and a half up on his time, so it's two tenths quicker in the middle sector. He's got Ooh. a nice toe from the Haas in front that's just about to prepare his lap before bailing yep. out of the way. Yeah, as a bail out of the way of the two Aston Martins, unless it is Grellis that's coming into the pits. Uh, TLA runs out of battery towards the line and it's, it's a 26.5. It's an improvement, but it's team, not good enough. His teammate, uh, Almo, uh, improves by nine tenths up to 27.1 in eighth position. Everybody's coming out the pit lane. Yep, I would not want left. to be starting a lap now. Uh, yep, the two. Summers, meanwhile, whilst you're still on board with Sid, is a tenth and a half up. Very nice. Obviously, we'll have to see if D Summers can have a good race, like good start to the race, like he did last week in Japan. He was leading for quite a long time after qualifying, I believe it was E3, and got into lead. As uh, Sid nice. has bailed out of his lap because he's validated. But Summers is... is now three temps up on the move. Well, Here Sid does. Bit... Yep. More. All right, I did keep off. Stoljo has retired, That's so right. he's into the pits and has just retired. Here comes Summers out of the last corner. And then here we go. Lee Summers out of the last corner. How much of an improvement is this? It's two tenths, so he doesn't change his position, but he does improve on his time. As I do believe Sid will try again here if he's got the fuel to do another lap. Obviously, he has plenty of time. So, <laughs> what of a waste of a thousand points? Yeah, because we don't need to ride on board of him anymore. So, who, who's who's on a lap? That's Tia going in. Uh, yep, Tia's going to go in. Yeah. Got Charlie, Melvin. Malvin will be the last to cross the line. And we've got, also got Tay. So I think Tay's at the front of this train. queue. Yep. Tay's at the front of this queue, so Tay will want to try and get as far up the grid as possible, so he needs to try and find about five tenths. Spectate my teammates, says Robin chat. Um. Lanky! Lanky's near the front. Lanky's near the front, he's second in the queue. Why not? Okay, we'll, 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 we'll spect... We'll, we'll, well, we will humble you then, Rob. We will spectate. Uh, Sid is hustling like two tenths. No hoodie, says Corey Brooks. I wonder why. Um, uh, three tenths is Sid. Sid is up three tenths at the moment. Ooh, that three tenths would actually see him above Charlie if he carries on that pace. As uh, we're obviously now checkered flag has fallen, so these laps all start to come flooding in. Obviously, Sid will be the first one to cross the line to do a new lap. Oh, he's bowled it. Oh, Sid. Oh, Lanky's invalidated. Oh, oh Lanky. That's no. a shame for Lanky. Uh, uh, we'll there's go a lot back. of guys not improving. Yeah, we'll go back on board with Tay as he's a tenth and a half up, I saw. Uh, Charlie's found some time as well. He's a tenth up as well. Yep. Tay coming out the last corner. What? What, how much of an improvement is this going to be? Because obviously, as soon as he's crossed line, we'll have to go straight to Charlie. Up to the line. But hey, it's no improvement in the end. So I'll go on board with Charlie as he's coming out the last corner now. How much of an improvement will it be for Charlie? It's a little bit of an improvement, but stays P3. As oh, Almanac. Al Almanac up to fifth. Uh, Melvin has bottled it. He's got no front wing. Uh, Co Havoc Connor has overtaken his teammate in has uh, gone past his teammate. So that is qualifying done, because I'll see Melvin is going to... Please just cross the line. Yeah, don't, please don't go in the pits. Um, yeah, so interesting then, the final runs, only mm. two guys found improvement. Yeah. Well, I say improvement. Actually, Almanac was the only one that really found any major improvement. Yep. Uh, that man... is very interesting. And Matt, man will be warmed up anyway, because he was in the race yesterday. So there we go. Qualifying is done, so full qualifying is still at the top, at the top on pole. Tierlade will join him on the front row. Charlie and Melvin on row two. Then the two. Then it's our full Haas lockout for row three. Then Tay and LOI Con. Then Sid in ninth. Amel in tenth. Then there is the Williams boys in row six. Then Pipe Tech in thirteenth. Andreas fourteenth, and then the two Ferraris that round out the back of the grid. So that is unfortunate for Lanky, for invalidating his lap. 
to rob does and start completely last. Oh well. Anyway, on to the race. On to the race. Yeah, these guys are going to have to work out themselves. Uh, they're not going to have any homework or data from E3 last night. And nope, because it was bucketing down yesterday. And that is, um, I see right now that is very overcast conditions. Um, right? <clears throat> yeah. so this is not not a good start already. No, it's not. Uh, as E3 was the only race last night, uh, they literally haven't got much homework to. Uh, nope, they have not to do. So. They'll be the Nathan, first this week to... Nathan in chat saying Sid and Charlie collide in lap one. Sid's nowhere near Charlie. Exactly. Sid is in like ninth and Charlie's like third. Uh, I saw your race start from yesterday and there was people hitting each other from miles away. There so... was, yeah. Uh... Like, I, I saw Nathan's POV of it yesterday. He's my teammate. He was at the. Unfortunately, he had a disappointing qualifying, but. He had, he had he saw all the action unfold. It was it was quite uh, funny to watch. Is in an inhumane Dan. Thank uh, eight four eight. Thank you for the follow, guys. He's very much appreciated. Uh, this channel is growing and growing and growing, which is fantastic considering it is. It our definitely size is. compared to some of the mainstream mm. uh, esports leagues. There are. Yep. Obviously um, now we are oh. we, we are just waiting for these drivers to f finalize their setups, finalize their fuel, and finalize their race strategies. Obviously, X. I expect some people to do hard to soft, so I'm hard to uh, sorry hard to mediums or medium style. But anyway, five lights are on and out. And away we go. Those lights did not stay changed long. But it looks like it's a bit of a pull getaway from Stelja. That goes Tilly. It's already passed. Almost already passed him into turn one, but I had to get on the brakes early. Obviously. Stelljo starts on the meters, and who was that in the back background into the wall? Almost. Oh, that's a dangerous rejoin, and there's a few cars off and out. There's oh, five cars involved. Oh, sorry, there's oh, three dear. or four cars massively I involved. Yeah, I saw the Hass in the background just uh, going to uh, going to the wall. So Sid's benefited a lot from that. He's up into fifth. So these, uh, so the front three have sorry, front four haven't changed, but um. But everything else has changed. Obviously, D Summers got the worst of that. He's currently at the back. I wonder if that man has wing damage. Doesn't look like uh, it. Yeah. No, Summers he does. Got He's damage. Summers has got damage. Obviously, Anamal was involved in that as well. He's oh, got. Oh, uh, tier laid out. Oh, and no. he was having a collision with. He was battling away with Sid and Charlie. Oh, where, where is he? What a messy, 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 oh, messy, dear, messy. Oh, dear. That is start. unfortunate for tier laid. Oh, uh, and, so and I missed that. Just and you only... were looking at the people at the back. Yeah, I gotta stop that. Look at the front for the first <laughs> lap. That's the excitement. Oops. Oh, my, that's my job to look at the back and be like, oh, hello, this is this is up. Yeah. So D yeah. Summers, the only one in visual damage. Uh, we've got damage on the front of Lanky as well. Oh, has uh, sliding the... in the background there. There's a has that keeps seeming to disc. Uh, Connect, which is the door ghost which was what the problem we had at the start as well uh one was ghosting one was rejoining lanky is in the pits uh we had four guys start on the hard tires uh, everyone else is on the mediums this will which now are change the which are, which are the four on the hards obviously it, I see Stelgio it's on andre the hard. andre malvin greatest and stelcho on the hards everyone else is on the medium tire apart from Lanky and D Summers have just come into the pits and have put on the hard yep. tyres and changed oh. their front wing. Uh, the RS is enabled. And uh, we there we go, going. there we go. Green flags and away we go. So obviously, right now it's a Red Bull 1 2. So Stelgio leads the way from his teammate Sid, who's actually got past Charlie and Tay. It looks like Sid is going to go into the lead. I'm not going to say that very often, I don't think, this season. But for once, uh, I can say Sid is in the lead in a race. And now this is where this is where I'd be like somebody's gonna say in chat Sid will bottle it in two laps or something like that. <laughs> uh, Sid posted an E1 race pace uh, test last time round. Oh, Rob, I think's got damage now as well. Oh, Lanky's oh, Lanky's doing after another virtual safety car. Oh, what's happened to Lanky? Did he just have a poor exit or something out of one of the corners? He Clipped the wall. Has... Oh, that's unfortunate. That is such a strange place to do 
Oh, that. I don't think these summons was disconnected. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I'm already on this. Okay. <laughs> I saw him and went bang. He needs to go back and then invite him back. Yeah. Um, so we've only we've had three laps so far, and we've had two safety cars, but obviously they're only virtuals. So, but obviously that is unfortunate for Lanky. Uh, poor man dropped it by himself. So now I'm just wondering here, will Stelgio play the team game here for Sid? Since Stelgio is on the hard tyres, will he back up when the safety car restart? When the safety car... Well, the virtual safety car ends. Will Stelgio back oh, up as Pantech gets a drive-through? There's two. There's two. Oh, did Grellis get one as well? Grellis has got one as well. Oh, as Charlie's a making the move on... As Charlie's making the move here on Stelgio on this um, on the first of the... Well, sorry, the second of three DRS zones in this track. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Charlie's also had that collision with TLA, which is what oh, I thought was Grellis. the case. Oh, Grellis! Oh, oh no, Grellis couldn't get it stopped in time, so Grellis with the spin. Is... Yeah, it was oh. so far. It was so far back as well. I, I wasn't expecting Stelcho to leave that door open for him. Uh, yeah. That was a very long, long way, way away. Uh, yeah. It's been a pretty... I'm not going to lie. It's not been the... The greatest of no. racing starts. No, it has not. EU2. Corey Brooks in chat, be like, what is what this open, open level of the... <laughs> <laughs> So, and this is something I'm not probably not going to say very often as well. Sid has broken DRS to Charlie. Well, did. Ah, you spoke too soon. Hey, I spoke too soon. I, I knew it was going to happen. But obviously, Sid has fast as that for now. Oh, never mind. Have it Connor has fastest lap with a 32. Nope, never mind. Andras has Everybody's fastest lap. Everybody's got the fastest lap. <laughs> yep. Obviously, Gre uh, Grellis is somehow back. Obviously, with Grellis' spin, he only lost that. Went down to ninth. And it's starting to recover places. Obviously, um, Charlie is now all over the back at Sid. So, Charlie is just clearly the faster man right now. He's also uh, dropped to Stelgio. It's pipe tech up. just coming to serve his drive through yet. Yeah. Obviously, Grillis will have to yeah. serve his soon. As uh, D Summers has now got a fastest half of the race. <laughs> now, will Charlie try and go for the send here at turn 11? Nope. Mm. Thinks against it. So now, well, you'll see. Yeah, Sorry. we'll see it down into 17, probably. <laughs> yeah, you'll see that move quite. I was going to say, you're going to see that move quite a bit where the drivers behind are probably going to. Wait, mm -hmm. uh, wait until, until this one. This one, and it'll be a lot yeah. easier. Having said that, though, you can come back uh, potentially mm -hmm. into turn one. Uh, Stelcho is fighting very hard yeah, to keep like, Tay behind. Yeah, I, was about to say that. Tay looks like they've got past Stelcho, and Charlie chooses to stay behind. It looks like Almanac oh, from wing damage. There's damage somewhere. I've just seen a bit of carbon fiber as I was on oh. board with uh, Almanac, Almanac trying Almanac to get past. And yeah, it's Almanac and Melvin. Melvin. Both of them have both picked up damage. Literally on the same end plate, they've lost. From contact from each other. Oh, so it, it wasn't. It was Stelcho. It was the car. I, I saw a bit in front. Uh, Stelcho has got oh, damage Stelcho's on the left hand side. Too. And meanwhile, side by side with the leaders. Yep. Charlie did get ahead of turn one, but Sid back in, back in front. So. And obviously, with these two fighting, it looks like Stelcho and Tay have caught up to the back of these two. Obviously, Stelgio with that front wing damage may be compromised as Grillis just got 10 seconds for corner cutting. That's harsh. <laughs> I was, uh, that's harsh because man did a, had a drive through. And he's also just lost the play. So, where he's come out and exceeded the line. Uh, yeah. Charlie staying behind. Tay, meanwhile, choosing to attack. As oh, Pipe Tech is retired. Oh. I think pipe text collided under the wall. But, uh, yeah. One downside to Miami, it is a street circuit, so there's barely any runoff at all. So if you make one mistake, you're in the wall, and that is your race over. And that has been the case already for Tia, Lanky, and pipe, now pipe tech. Yeah, you can do on, the, on that exit curb there. Uh, Tay yeah. and Melvin were swapping places, but I don't know how that is happened that yeah i don't know this obviously swap back so this is now our what third virtual safety car after yes three out of five <laughs> we've had three in five laps this is ridiculous as an animal gets a drive through 
now for oh. speeding on the safety car. And he'll probably stir that straight away. Uh, the answer to that is yes, he is. And he gets 10 oh, seconds boy, to spin it in the pit. 10 pits. seconds to spin the pit lane. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, that is unfortunate for them. Oh. Oh. And Rob's Rob. gone off at turn one via is... the. Oh, he's got... Wow, he's lost it a long way down through turn two, actually. Uh, he's got damage God's... on both sides of his front wing, so that would be. And th this is where we're we... like. <sighs> yesterday's EU3 race, people. Nobody was actually hitting the walls. I think the only person that actually kind of hit the wall was myself. I think other than that, nobody else really hit walls. Oh, as I said, has a small slide there at turn 11. Trying to defend there from Charlie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, he's Charlie staying behind. Uh, Alan, meanwhile, decided that he's going to go ahead of the guys in front. Uh, and Did... he's also... Oh, he's still got that front wing damage, obviously, with that contact earlier. I was like, Charlie um, just completely cut that corner on, pretty much, the chicane. Uh, but he would have picked up a one in there. I could probably tell you. Uh, Charlie has picked up a warning. Uh, yeah. That is for corner cutting, not exceeding track limits. So there you go. That yeah, answers so, your yeah. question. That answers that question. As uh, Corey Brooks in chat is saying, come on, Charlie boy. We've got some Charlie fans in the chat. Uh, Malvin's in. Yep. Melvin clearly does not like those uh, medium tyres unless he's also changing his wing damage. He's changing for, off that wing damage from the hards onto the mediums, which yeah. he can kind of do. Rob's going to come in and do the same, mediums to hards. Uh, <laughs> we praise these guys for how well they've done the first two rounds. I would yep. say this is uh, not this, as good this time yeah, around. Yeah, this one's just gone to pop. As uh, uh, this, there's now starting to be a little DRS train forming. As is Charlie going to try and mount the move into turn 11? Going to try around the outside here. As we're going to ride on board of Sid. As there, it, there goes Charlie around the outside. And Charlie Charlie's up into got, the lead. Charlie's got so much more battery at the moment than what Sid has. Sid has used quite a lot to try and mm -hmm. keep ahead and hold he the has. lead. Uh, Stelcho, meanwhile, doing quite well with that damage, uh, keeping Tay behind. And I think Tay, Tay's got some pace he needs to try and unlock yeah, here, but he does. Uh, Stelch will be going deep though. Oh, well, uh, Sid trying to go back times. past Charlie here. Yep, Sid does go back past the Mercedes. Not sure if that was a wise move. But yep, Sid back into the lead of the race. Yes, Obviously, uh, his teammate is back into the DRS over Charlie and Tay. Oh, is Charlie going to go around all the way around the outside of turn one here? Right oh, Sid went yeah. defensive. Oh. It wasn't necessarily Charlie going for a move. Sid went really... Oh, Sid's lost it. He hasn't picked Sid's up... Sid's lost it. He hasn't got wing damage, though. He's avoided... Oh, he's going to... He's avoided the damage. Oh, that was close. Yeah, that was very he close with to... Tay. Obviously, he now he will have to... Between his teammate. Yeah, he wants to try and get back past his teammate. Obviously, his teammate's dropped out of DRS. I would be surprised if Charlie's dumping the battery here to... Yeah. Now he knows that Sid's made that mistake. That's all he needs. Yeah. There we go. The Red Bulls do the old switcheroo. But Sid will try to catch back up to Charlie. Obviously, these four have actually got a, like, a two-second gap to Almanac, who has a full second gap, well, over a second gap to have a con in, in sixth. Then it's the other con in seventh, as we've got oh, yellow Rob. flags... Is it, is it Rob spinning again? It'd be Rob. It'd uh, be I was just about to say, top eight only uh, separate by eight and a half seconds. So the likes of Andre would still find them. Uh, hmm. He's not far away. If something happens, yeah. you know, you've got to fancy oh. your chances. Tay going for a send. And as we come, as they come around the corner with this camera angle, Tay's ahead. So Tay is ahead of Stelgio and will now to try and look to attack Sid. Are we yeah, down into turn the, one? The Red Bull. Sid going both defensive. The Red Bulls here. Sid going defensive, so he's cut, cut the corner a little bit. Tay tried to go around the outside, but couldn't hold it. So Tay is having to drop back behind Sid. But Sid having a bit of a mare there, so Tay is like, thank you very much, Sid. I will take that second place. And there goes the V carb. Yeah, Tay's going to lose that position, though, in a uh, corner or so's time. Oh, Sid's going to go down the inside. <laughs> At turn eight. 
Oh, not turn. Yeah, turn. That's... Oh, turn eight. That's a. <laughs> that's a bold one. And his teammates going uh, past T as well before DRS. So... That's very bold because he's going to not have DRS. So Sig could lose again two positions here. Yep. Enamel into the pits. Oh, Sid oh, loses team... once his teammate. And then Tay had to slam on the brakes there a little bit. Obviously, with all these guys fighting, it's actually brought Almanac in pl into play. And it's actually let Charlie break get like, was... almost three seconds up the road now. I was going to say, that it's more that one. Charlie's nearly got a three-second gap because of yeah. this. Charlie's just gone. And if these guys keep fighting, uh, Havoc Connor will say, I'll join this fight, thank you very much. Of course, he's got two seconds to catch up. Obviously, the Red Bulls are going to go switcheroo. Ooh. Well, this is why I said a moment ago, the likes of Andre aren't out of this on the alternative strategy as well. No, they are not. These guys keep strapping. <laughs> the Red Bulls are side by side again. You can't be doing this, lads. If you want to catch Charlie, this is not the way to do it. This is not the way to catch Charlie. BK in Charlie chat be like, oh, look at the time. It's beer o'clock. <laughs> oh, Connell lost it out too. I was going to say, I saw a wild Alpine uh, losing it. Now uh, Andre is all over the back of uh, the Alpine as we look. As I look slightly further down. Oh, we and as, as, as I look at it, he's gone completely wide. Has picked up three seconds. So there's the first three second for track limits warning. Yeah, he's gonna so sort of overheat those tyres, uh, and that's what you saw with Sid yep. when he made that small Sid's mistake. Going for the oh, move and, and here comes Almanac. Almanac going for the move and Danny inside of Tay. They're still side by side. These two. No, no, that's Someone's the back. Gonna have to give. Yep, yeah, unfortunately, it was Almanac. As I believe he's, picked, he's also picked up wing damage now as well. Yeah, it, he had that with Malvin earlier on. It was only okay. On so he's been catching these guys even with the wing damage. Oh dear. Oh, and Malvin, I think she's been tagged by uh, Grellis over P9. Mm. Uh, so uh, now would be two yeah. stopping. Uh, it must be because he's on another set of mediums. Obviously, the Red Bulls are doing your switcheroo, and then Sid giving the old big old squeeze to Tay, almost squeezed him into the wall. That is um, that is not how you defend Sid. That is not how you defend a place, sir. Well, it is a Red Bull. <laughs> Sorry, is that too soon? Too soon. You <laughs> <laughs> tell where my affiliations lie. <laughs> nice uh, nice Almanac. joke, mate. Nice joke. <laughs> Almanac all over the back of uh, so I'm moving swiftly on before I get a lot of hate from uh, Corey, Bro people Cor Corey Brooks in chat says hey get off the Red Bull hate Matty I liked you don't change it says Corey yeah. Brooks <laughs> <laughs> yeah you don't want to get it was, in the... it was such an easy one to make uh, Tay meanwhile <laughs> all over the back of Almanac and the Red Bull's in front switch yep. and Tay's going to stay behind oh sit a little deep there Oh, slid oh. little slide as well on the Red, the, Red on the Bulls next are going to switch. Uh, yeah. Andre is three and a half seconds behind now after his little battle with. Uh, Almanac gets three seconds for trap limits. Connor. That's not what he wants. Uh, Andre's not losing too much. Oh, I say that he's just lost two tenths through that chicane, but he's not losing too much time to the leader actually, Charlie. So Red Bull good pace says on inhuman Dan and chat. <laughs> To be fair, when, uh, when I want, when I can, I will abuse the Red Bulls because I'm not a fan of Red Bull. Never have been. Oh, as there we go. As I thought, goal. I thought that would happen. Sid bailing into the pits doesn't pick yeah, up ten just... seconds. Tay is not into the pits. Obviously, Almanac's also in. The Almanac will have to change that front wing. So we... you could see that was going to happen, though, couldn't yeah. you? Sid was really pushing the car a bit too much, overheating those tyres, yeah. and it was only a matter of time. Uh, 4.6 seconds is the gap. Tay 1.2 behind. Out, uh, Andre 3.4. Uh, Sid has got himself out behind Malvin. Not ahead of Al. Uh, not ahead of Malvin. Behind oh, Malvin. But Malvin does have to pit again later in this race. It's just the inconvenience of having to follow him for a sector yep. and then overtake it him. Is. But you know, other than that. You know, let's, uh, let's let's see if Sid can get the overtake. Obviously, Sid on fresh hards compared to Melvin's, I assume, seven lap old medium, something like that. 
Uh, yeah, it's five lap old medium. It's, so That's that would mean then it's it's going to be interesting to see where Tay then comes out in all of this because oh, there goes Sid. I have a Gets the move. feeling he'll be between Malvin and Grelis on that basis. Maybe. But he has, even though he hasn't got it, he has managed to pick himself within the, the second of Steltcho, very yeah. close to now. Um, LOA Con tried to try to get take the place back from Armanac, but didn't quite get enough pace down. As Tays into the pit, so we'll, we'll have to see where they come out. On on Andras in as well. Uh, Malvin's ahead of Sid again. Uh, okay. Andre's in. That is. He was on the hearts. He, oh, he's, he's got picked his wing damage. Wing damage that's why it's coming probably i was gonna say it's a bit early oh. but that's a shame because so he's say... doing quite well oh malvin sliding through turn two so sid's got himself stuck behind malvin again yeah that's not good but obviously that's mediums compared to hards obviously yes but hards. this isn't gonna help no, although not... selcho has got a pit and replace his wing it's not going to help him no, towards the last stage of the race still Joe will probably drop behind havoc connor who's also i assume pitted at this point uh he has pitted as well so uh it's the net lead depending on how this all goes it should be charlie then stelcho and it's going to be the likes <laughs> of C, connor tay and grelis speaking of grelis down the inside oh sid for free tay. Sid with three as he's passed uh, Melvin. And obviously in BK in chat saying, Charlie's teammate gets banned. Charlie says, I took that personally. <laughs> yes, Charlie's <laughs> five seconds up the road. And Charlie into the pits. So obviously Stelger oh. will stay out. I assume Stelger will probably come in around lap 19, well, 18, 19, I would assume, to go onto the mediums. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you own the mediums, your pit window is about 12 to 15. Possibly oh. before that. Nah, the, 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 the mediums, I, I, could, I could probably easily make mediums last about 15 laps around this track. I made the, hards, say, so I, I made the hards last about 20 laps yesterday. So I reckon we'll see Stelcho possibly in uh, quite soon. Yeah, yes, Charlie may have taken it personally. He also took it personally out of TLA by the sounds of things as well. So although mm. he's leading the race, there could be a penalty uh, looming over... The Mercedes driver's head, but yeah, it's Charlie, yeah. Sid, Malvin, uh, Havoc, Connor, and Tay, and Grellis uh, has got himself still involved in all this. He's still yet to yep. stop, but uh, yeah, we'll wait to see what Stelcho does. As uh, well, even though they're fighting, Almanac and Connor are still closing in slowly to the top five. Did having a small look up there, that's not good for your tyres, Sid. As Almanac and Honor fighting out here over eighth. Obviously, both of them have three second time penalties. Uh, Sid's probably using the lock up as the brake dust or the, the tire smoke particle mm -hmm. thing where you can't then see the next car in front of you. Good update, Cody's <laughs> and Kai, well done. Mm -hmm. Especially for people that. Especially, especially when you race in a tier where most people don't have ABS on, it's uh, yeah. it's not particularly very pleasant. Nope. Oh, and Con doesn't get the move onto Almanac or unless Almanac. Yeah, no, they're still right way around. As now they're both side by side fighting over eighth place, and obviously Con to the inside gets the move done past Almanac. So Con up into eighth. As uh, somehow Melvin's got back into DRS of Sid. Well, did for a brief sec brief second there. Obviously, uh, Sid is only under three seconds behind Charlie. But obviously, he's got the three second time pen as well. As well, that's not going to help him. Um, just for everybody's information, uh, Melvin can go to the end here. He sighed on the hearts and peered on to the Oh, has the it? Oh, he did mediums. sigh on the hearts. Ah, okay. So he can so go to the end, but I don't he think could he could go to the end. He could, but I don't think he will. I think he'll pit again. Cause... Yes, I, I would agree with uh, uh, Almanac. 
sorry, Pony. Almanac's got front wing damage again. Oh dear. Uh, right hand side. That I'm is not convinced good. he got it replaced. Uh, he did, he did get it replaced. Hundred been... percent, it yeah, was replaced. They've been He's scrapping got... hard these two. Yeah. Con and Almanac as uh, Con, they're now side by side again. Oh, as Con just chopped across it, cross him on the straight there. Ooh. Almanac Arthurs. had to take a uh, take avoiding action, so Con was probably not happy with that move. As Stelgio and Melvin are both into the pits. Wants to see where oh, both Melvin, these oh, he's... Yeah, he's bailed out of them, so he's probably gonna put a new fresh, a new set of mediums on to go to the end. Obviously, Stelgio has dropped all the way down to P8. Because he still I, have to repair that wing. I thought he would have gone a little bit longer than that on that stint of mediums from Malvin. He's got a lot to do. Yeah, a lot to 14 do. 14 laps on these mediums at the end. To be fair, with, fact, with, 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 less, with less fuel, I think he'll easily make, make it now with those tyres. He'll make it, but I yeah. don't think it's optimal. The fact he only eight on the first stint yeah. of mediums. And well, now have a corner here do... running, running in third for Williams right now. And obviously having it, he's ahead of Tay for the time being, but Tay has really closed the gap and looks to really push on, uh, have a corner here. Look at this, so, he's all over the back of him. He is. Interestingly, the gap to lead has come down. Considering it's it around five seconds. Yeah, it's about 2.8. It's, it's um, staying at a constant 2.8 as well. So Sid is... Well, matching Charlie for pace right now as Tay is making a move for third here on the brakes and as we change camera one. angle he gets he gets ahead but have Con Connor's not having any of it as he's cut, oh. cut the corner there a little bit but he's not gonna have it he'll try to get yeah, back he's gonna get oh he's gonna go for it on this on to turn one and again the camera angle is not the best uh Sid picks up now six seconds of penalties oh. As that was such a silly one as well. I just saw it. Oh. That was uh, such a silly <laughs> warning to pick up. Yeah, so I was about to say, Charlie's got a 5.8 second lead, but now it's a little bit more than that because uh, he's really looking yeah. back to the likes of Havoc, Connor, and uh, Tay. Yeah, that was always going to happen. Tay going down the inside. Uh, through the penultimate caller, but obviously another dose of mm. DRS and different detection. Uh, yep. Have, it. have a caller could come back, but Tay is going again. And Tay gets the move done, but it's gone a little deep. So Con thought he could try and get it back, but nope. Obviously, as well, if these two keep fighting like this, they might drop further back from Sid. But obviously, right now, these two will get podiums with Sid having six mm. seconds of pens. Penalty. Classic yeah. Sid. Classic, uh, top, four, top four fellows that join us are on the hard tyres. Agredis hasn't pitted yet. He's also on the hards. Uh, mediums for the likes of Stelcho, Andre and Malvin. Uh, D Summers also has pitted, but really, really early on. So can go to the end of the hards. Uh, Almanac and Connell have both got a brand new set of mediums. So they come in and pitted again. Yeah, and say, they just... are coming to blows again because I'm pretty sure that could have been another bit of front wing. And that looks like to be another bit of front wing. Oh, and Ammo picks up three seconds for corner cutting. But not, not, not good enough for them. As I saw D Summers just scarpering into the pits. Oh, wrong uh, button. I don't think Almanac changed that wing. No, he did not. He did not change that wing. Whereas Connell did, hence why Connell's five seconds behind him. Interesting. Oh, Connell going around the outside of Tay into turn 11. Obviously, these guys are slowly dropping back from Sid, but not by much. So, uh, obviously, if these guys try to keep DRS up in a catch Sid, possible. Oh, uh, Stelcho well, caught up behind the car. He doesn't want to be behind. I, ju I just noticed in chat, Pablo has turned up and man's like, Charlie, what have I, co what have I come into? Yeah, Charlie's leading. He hasn't got a teammate any, but obviously on Andras is filling in for his teammate today, but obviously Charlie, no t team like teammateless, but he's showing he doesn't need one as Almanac has picked up three seconds. 
You know what? Let's let's have a quick look at these penalties. Oh, on stream. and he's hit the wall hard as well. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Coming dear, onto oh dear. the back on the final strike. I'm surprised that hasn't given it even more damage. I was going to say Connell's closed in a lot more on this lap. Uh, yep. Play past Connor. Steltcho's kept ahead of Grelis. That's important. Keep an eye on that gap. He's got 11 laps or so to try and make an indentation, but Steltcho is not out of the running yet, ladies and gentlemen. No, he is not. He is slowly catching up to the back of these guys. Obviously, he will be on the fresher rubber. Obviously, just looking for these penalties. Sid, Sid Almanac, and, 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 and Amol have picked up six. Grelis has the 10 for when he corner cuts. I assume that would be when he came out of the pits. And Lolcon has three. I said everyone has stopped except for Grelis. So, obviously, as well, we're keeping on board with Tay and Con here. They're fighting for podiums as oh. Con picks up three seconds. I do believe they Tails. Both did. They both did. Oh, no. In exactly the same corner. So, oh, no. <laughs> we are level once again. Uh, Sid, meanwhile, will be like, yes, I've got away with it because the gap <laughs> is now five seconds and he has only three he, seconds he, more. He won't for long. I bet you any money he's already on two, He's already on eight warnings, I bet. Hold my beer. I'll find it. <laughs> well, Matt, he's looking at that. Obviously, I uh, have a Connor and Tay still fighting here over the last podium place. Obviously, both of them have pitted. They won't need to pit again, so this is for position. And Havoc Connor is definitely giving thing run for his money as Grelis finally pits after 19 laps on those hard tires. I'm all for it. Um, Obviously, as well, he will have to serve his 10 second time penalty as well. He got for Connor cutting earlier. So I'll tell you is... what, these two need to be careful because they'll have an unwanted visitor in about two or three laps time if they keep yeah. losing the amount of time they're losing. Yep, Stelgio is Stelgio's already closed into four seconds already. He was five five seconds behind a couple laps ago. It is now down to four. As these two are still going hard over this last podium place. But if you keep fighting boys you're gonna bring Stelgio into this. Mm. And Stelgio uh, right now is almost under three seconds. If Stelljo gets that under the three seconds of these two, they will easily claim a podium for himself. Alvin's just about shaking off Andre now. Andre put up a good defence to try and stay with uh, the full-time EU2 driver. Bear in mind Andre is filling in from EU3. Uh, currently sitting in seventh place, so quite comfortable actually. Got a gap down to uh, Almanac in eighth, who's holding off Connell at the moment. Hmm. I got. I was uh, just, uh, just saw a chat. Pab Pablo said Charlie is uh, chefing, and man's like hashtag let grill <laughs> let grill us to Mercedes. <laughs> I was like, that would be a good that that would be that that would be a good combo, Charlie and Grillis. Two really good drivers as teammates. Uh, Tay has just got past uh, Connor, but Tay does the interesting. Tay through the lap. Uh, racing ball looks a bit more tail happy than the Williams uh, and Havoc Connor will probably see come straight back at yep he will probably uh, racing ball I don't know because his, his real light is flashing so he's definitely saving will he go for a late send on the brakes no he thinks better of it Pablo plays in chat saying Grellis is a goat and Charlie is uh, as as well so <laughs> So, I think, I think I know who uh, Pablo is cheering for. Obviously, I Charlie has about a six-second gap to Sid. I think Sid's mm -hmm. made a mistake somewhere because he's lost a full second to Tay and Con here. And Connor, oh, and uh, Havoc Connor here has almost dropped out of DRS of Tay here. So, come on, Con. You can, you can keep him in DRS of Tay. I think Tay's shifted into another gear. Uh, Malvin 3.4, uh, not Malvin, Selcho 3.4 seconds uh, yep, behind these two. He's, he needs to find 0.5 of half a second to, get, to he's, easily get. Thing. He's not catching at the rate I thought he would be, and maybe that's because he got stuck behind. Uh, yeah. I think it was Grelis. 
that hadn't paid for the first lap or so. Yeah, but that but, gap is slowly coming down really fast. It's, but oh, there we go. Havocon is out outside of the DRS of uh, Tay. So I think Connor's made a mistake here. I'm not. No, I'm not surprised. Tay had a lot of more battery to play with if needed than Havoc Connor, and yeah, has decided that this is the moment he wants to break uh, yeah. the DRS. I can see it on the Williams dash that is. Uh, Struggling for battery and in, and now Stoljo is within three seconds, so Stoljo will uh, will definitely claim a place on Have a Connor, as uh, Grellis has picked up three seconds now for track limit mm -hmm. violations. Uh, we're getting close to that time where we can say um, every driver's picked up some, but right now Rob Rob Star, uh, D Summers, Andres, Melvin, Stoljo, and Charlie have not picked up any pens yet. Obviously, Charlie still still gapping Sid, but the gap is now almost six seconds. As Tay obviously has turned it up a bit, and Man's almost within three seconds of Sid. Mm. So if Tay gets within that three seconds, Sid will lose that second place. Obviously, he'll. I think he might if Stojo gets close enough to have a Connor. I think he might lose the place to Stojo as well. Yeah, Tay, yeah. don't forget, has did pit a lap later than Sid and two laps later than Havoc Connor, so maybe a little bit of extra tyre life at this stage mm. of the race is yep. what's making the slight difference. We yep, still have good. seven to go. Mm -hmm. yep, seven to go in this race. Still all to play for these last podium places. Obviously now as well. There's, there's no, there's no like, no drivers are close to each other. There's gaps everywhere. You've got like five and a half to between Charlie and Sid. You've got oh, just over three between Sid and Tay. Then it's like two and a half back to Con. There's another two and a half back to Stelljo. About five back to Melvin, and he's got up like a six second gap over Andras, who has uh, fifteen over Almanac. Yeah, Melvin's just picked up three seconds as well. Uh, oh, the the ones amazing. that you'll see. Is you'll see possibly Connell closing into Almanac. Almanac's got that front wing damage. Now, I don't know how much it's affecting those medium tyres. They're both on the same age. Uh, Gredis has also got some younger medium tyres compared to the two ahead of him. Yeah, so Gredis should uh, easily. Gredis is on a charge. It's, li it's really. And obviously, we're guys. waiting for the likes of Stelcho to catch Havoc, Connor, and Tay possibly to close in here on Sid at least. Well, at the moment I he is because of the penalty. The, I think at the minute, Stelljo just under now two seconds to have a corner who's like three seconds back from Tay, so he's not so not gonna get a position out of Tay yet, so he's only gonna get fourth at best. I don't think he'll get the place to Sid. Obviously Tay will take second place away from Sid. He's on he's two point two behind Sid. Mm -hmm. As a bear with us, really people. Catching. Bear with us because it could be you'll see a lot of action in the last couple of laps there. You probably as will there's be. battles converging in on each other. Um, who Rob has put some, put on the soft, so he has got three sets of soft tires to use because he had a quality ban. Yep, so um, man is uh, so gonna Rob, take away fastest lap. He is, he's gonna be stealing fastest lap, possibly uh, away from somebody. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, he's also just going to lap down, actually, by making that pit stop. Yep, he has indeed, but he will unlap himself rather quickly, though. Because if you just look, there he is. Oh, as I, as I say that, <laughs> as I start spectating you, does Rob, not, you have does a small not like snap. turn two. Turn that's... two or three, and that's the corner I said that he I don't particularly like snap. on this circuit. Well, obviously, you've got a race here tomorrow, mate, so... I have got a race here tomorrow. And I'm looking forward to it being wet, probably. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. I was going to say... A uh, gap between Tay and Sid. Probably might have to avert our attention away from uh, Rob for a second, because that gap is 1.3 seconds. It is, and Stelljo's almost within DRS of Havoc Corner behind as well. And obviously they are three and a half seconds back from Tay. So... And I that gap I between actually... Connell... 
I think that gap between Stoljo and Sid is under six as well. So I think Sid is going to drop off the podium here. Uh, the gap currently is seven. Uh, he is seven point six off the leader, Sid, and Stelcho is thirteen point nine. It's currently six point three seconds. So it's getting closer. Uh, also, Connor and Gredis are getting close to, to each other, but then these two are also catching Almanac. So, as we said when we had that couple of laps where there wasn't much going on, all these battles are now starting to converge on each other. Stelcho within the DRS now of Havoc Connor quite comfortably. Hmm. I just see a chat for Speedy Bullet is pray praying that it doesn't does it rain for them in eight AM two tonight. Obviously, it's gonna I, rain for somebody. It's gonna rain for somebody, but I think it, I think we've already had the rain because it was in the EU three. Oh. You have to pray to the gods that it, it isn't going to rain for you. Uh, Stelcho, uh, not a great first sector as Andre has pitted. Andre's pitted! No, Andre, why are you pitted? Points, think of the points for Mercedes. Come on, now you've got to do all the hard work. I think I think he's pitting because he's got a big enough gap to D Summers behind and wants uh, the fastest lap. Uh, he wants to try and get extra point. So How he's... is Malvin getting on? Malvin, four seconds now between him oh. and Stelcho. That's come down a little Have bit. A Connor's right behind. He's uh, got Stelcho for company now. Obviously these Under guys... the cosh. Yep. Yep. That... By the way, that Williams in a straight line. Almanac. Rapid. Uh, Almanac 10 for exceeding track limits. Oh dear, yeah, what's he's Almanac off. for? He's off at... I don't know where he is. He's off somewhere. Oh, he's, he's got, got no front wing. wing damage. No front wing. Oh, dear. And oh, dear. I'm I did that. say Gredis and Connell were close, whether they've had a, a coming together, but... Yeah. yeah. Almanac gets three seconds for corner cutting, so I think Almanac is going to come into the pit end of this lap and retire that car. Unless he's going to... be so... don't know what he's going to do. That's a lot no, of pens he's got if... now. If that's the case, someone like a D Summers and Amon and Rob who have been doing the whole race waiting for something to happen. Uh, D and Summers that, is about to yeah. get gifted. Yeah, well, I'm in like into place. the pits. Uh, Tay's one and a half seconds now behind Sid. And crucially, Stelcho stayed ahead of Havoc uh, Connor. So can he? Have two and a bit laps of not having to battle and close in on Tay. And all Sid. Yeah, the so... gap between himself and Sid is on the cusp. It's six seconds. Going to be pretty tight, this. Yeah. Well, Stoljo is 4.7 behind. Tay is only, he's only, well, sorry, 4.8 behind Tay, and Tay is only a t second behind Sid. And uh, Robstar has retired, so his man's called it a day, pulled into the pit since retired that. Retired the car, so double non scoring for the Ferrari boys today. That is very unfortunate. Oh, Connell. Con's got damage on that front right end plate. We've seen that before tonight. Definitely. Yeah, Obviously, around. Sid yeah, here is. Jump. Oh, God, Tay's, with... Tay's in fact within DRS now of Sid. Five tenths is this gap, and then obviously Tay has about five seconds to Stelgio, So yeah, we've the way this is we've going, seen this. Sorry, <laughs> I'm cutting you off. That's right. I was just about to say we've seen this already tonight already, where Sid struggled at the end of the stint, and he's struggling again at the end of the stint, and Tay's yeah. all over him. Yep, Tay is all over the back of him. Obviously, Havoc Connor is actually keeping up with Stelgio. Obviously, Havoc Connor with that three seconds will. will well, yes. he, won't, he won't lose. A, he won't lose a place. So a P5 is going to be pretty good for him. As a... Stelcho's mediums are struggling though at this stage. This is where these guys were pitting in earlier. About 12 laps on those mediums. It's uh, it's going to be tough work. Yep. So, obviously, he's taking to make the move here down into the last 
pretty much the last couple corners. Nope, he's fought better of it. To be fair, Tate doesn't really need to pass with Sid having pens. So he could. Oh, did Tate just clatter the wall there? He's got a wave if he has. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Hacker side. in chat be like, how is Sid even P2 on track? To be fair, Sid has not done what not done bad done bad today. Like Sid he, had the lead and then yeah. he didn't like turn two. That's oh. the only reason why Charlie's got was able to take it. Was that a small it. slide from Tay there? Uh, Tay, yeah, Tay's. Is oh. it Tay? He's almost. Oh, Stojo's almost out of. Is almost almost over six seconds behind. Yeah, have it. Sid Connors might. Sid might keep, push him. Yeah, Sid might keep that P. The P the P three, because he's gonna get overtaken by Tay here, as Almanac, oh, sorry, Enamel gets ten seconds for corner cutting. Obviously, I assume that's that like the Mickey Mouse chicane. Yeah. Oh, I thought they were gonna play DRS chicken with each other. Oh, Sid, bit of contact oh, there. Back. Come on, Sid. A uh, uh, five point eight. Come on, Sid. You need to literally bolt past Tay on the last DRS straight. Well, he's gonna six. have DRS to help him. Yeah, go on, Sid. I want to see you get a podium so we can actually stop the uh, shit talking. Yeah, oops. <laughs> oh, he, he dropped it. Uh, Charlie's uh, about to. Uh... Oh, well, Charlie's about to win as he's coming out the last corners as I have uh, bottled it as Almanac and Enamel have both retired. Charlie crossed the line know, to Almanac win. Almanac was on track so, as well. So we'll have to see. Havoc, Connor, and Stelcho are oh, fighting. Oh, Stelcho! It's 6.2. Yep, so Tay finishes ahead of Sid. And so where will... Oh my god. Where will Stojo finish compared to Sid? No, he doesn't oh, get an attempt. Enough. So Sid actually keeps a po gets a podium here today. So that that's something I'll probably... That's probably the first and last time I'll probably say that. So... So Charlie takes the win. Obviously now we rate for the rest of the grid. So it's going to be a double point score for Mercedes. Here, because Andres will pick up P7. And I do not believe they got fastest lap. I'm going to actually put that on just a second. Fastest lap went to Almanac, where he's uh, Almanac. retired and he's out of the race. But now we just obviously wait for Grelis and D Summers to cross the line. Well, D Summers is going to overtake him anyway, because Grelis has got a penalty. Grelis, yep. fastest lap. <laughs> so Grelis gets two points at the end. Uh, pa Pablo in chat has redeemed a post-race interview question for 5,000 points. I forgot to put text on. Can I say it right now, though? Yes, you can, Pablo. You can say it right now. You can say it right now, and we will ask it. I assume it'll be either for Sid or Charlie. But I'm assuming Charlie. Hacko in, Hacko in chat be like, guys, let me race an EU2 on my controller. I'll be faster than Rob. <laughs> and, then, and then Matty himself saying <laughs> going in but yeah so yep Charlie picks up the win here then in EU2 Miami so, so good for him Tay will pick up P2 and then Sid will round out the poems keeping ahead of his team by only a tenth of a second in the end because uh, Havoc Connor decided to do Sid a solid one and fight Stelgio so then Seljo finishes fourth, Hover Connor fifth, Melvin sixth, Andras in seventh, Lolcon in eighth, D Summers in ninth, and then Grillis, the last of the finishers in P10, and taking fastest lap on that last lap to claim an extra point. And obviously your non finishers are Almanac, Enamel, Robstar, Pipe Tech, Lanky, and Tearlade. So I can ask. Please, God, Charlie. So, <laughs> Pablo plays his question is so I can ask Charlie how I can get good at the game. Might redeem one for Sid real quick. <laughs> oh, the DNF streak is broken. Sid says in chat. Podium. Right, we'll have to. And points. More importantly, points yep. usually means prizes. Right. But I will quickly cool. swap it to um, swap scenes so I can. I think we'll just quickly go to the showroom and stick on a Red Bull because that's what the car Sid was driving. As we now cool. get him in. 
boss we're waiting i should do it now so we have to do it later uh if you enjoyed that contest of speed action you'll you've been more than welcome thanks to the guys that have supported us this evening there's over 20 guys from out the race uh we did peak up to over 30 at one point which is uh fantastic um the discord link is in the twitch chat uh you are more welcome to join us uh there are spaces throughout all the tiers in our contest of speed community um and there'll be probably some community uh, community races in and around christmas as well uh we have got a break week next week uh, so you will not be seeing us uh, for some EU2 action. Uh, there may be a social race here and there uh, that you can join us instead. Uh, the next on-track action for EU2 will be uh, the week of December the 3rd, where we head to Interlagos for round four of the championship. Uh, usually... and adverse weather conditions there so could see some more rain about uh that brazil race in a fortnight's time is part of a trio of races before we break for the christmas period um next on track action this week will be am2 in a few hours time from our friends across the pond uh, 9 p.m eastern 2 a.m uk and 3 a.m central european time uh next european action will be tomorrow night uh, you can laugh at me and others uh, trying to race against some of the aliens in the community. Uh, that'll be 9pm UK time and AM1 will follow us shortly afterwards. When the stream finishes, it'll be uploaded to the Twitch channel and then up to our YouTube channel as well. If you can like, subscribe, follow, etc, etc and all that jazz, that'll be... Fan And this is our break. Can we move on to the interviews now? Because I've I bet I bet anybody Sid is dying to talk to us and be be like on on the mic. The DNF streak is ended. Let's go. <laughs> ha ha. Very funny, Barney. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, Sid, how do you feel? Podium uh. for the first time in a while. <laughs> yeah, first time since uh, Saudi Arabia season fourteen. Uh, yeah, it was a good, uh, good race. Couple of moments here and there. I had wing damage in the final three laps, but just happy. I'm just happy I got the podium. To be fair, after the after where I qualified. To be fair, I think you can thank uh, Havoc Connor for holding up your teammate to get to get it. So you owe you owe you owe him one now. <laughs> He can get near me than I don't want. But uh, I just did. I didn't bottle it for once. So yeah, for once. Started P9. Started P9. <laughs> yeah, P3. started P9. I'll take it. I'll take it. Yep. I'll, P9 I'll to P3. It. Good result. Yeah, yeah. So, obviously, you had a few sketchy moments, didn't you? With a, uh, I saw you having a couple snaps. A uh, couple snaps. So. Uh, just, just don't. Just, the mediums are awful. <laughs> like, on the the rears are just they're just so slidey like the littlest mistake will just send you spinning it's just yeah uh annoying to have to deal with basically mm -hmm. matty anything to ask yeah but uh yeah come on matty no no i'm, go I'm gonna no that's all right i don't need to say anything more than that uh yeah you know, it was, you know, you know you do. Oh. Under, 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 it was fairly under control, ish. <laughs> at, yeah, at I times, I didn't cause any but, crashes. No, no, you didn't. For once. But you just don't like turn two, which is fair enough. I hate turn two. And what do you As mean? Fair enough. Nobody oh, likes turn two. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Good race, GG, Charlie. Good battle in the start. So, yeah. Obviously, yeah. congratulations on that podium, Sid. Obviously, we would Thank move you. on to to. We would move on to Tay, but Tay is not in the interview room. I have pinged them for for interview, but I don't think they're coming because I had a response. So we'll just move on to our race winner, Charlie. How do you feel after winning today? Happy. Bloody <laughs> happy. Good, 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 good. Right. I better ask this question before I forget. 
Uh, Pablo in chat early redeemed asking into a post race interview question. So his question to you, Charlie, is um, how would you get good at this game? He's asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, just festering in my room for hours and hours and hours just sweating the game constantly that's pretty much what i did for this track and it paid off i guess <laughs> well that there's your answer pablo <laughs> there you go pablo <laughs> mate we're in the same team pablo we can you can ask me in the chat man <laughs> <laughs> so obviously you had a bit of an early early scrap with sid and a few early laps of battling for the race lead yeah, he's washed. <laughs> yeah, um, that was quite enjoyable because I was I wasn't really worried about Sid because I knew I could force him into the mistake, which did end up happening. I was more worried on um, Stijo. Mm. Yeah, Stijo was looking a bit rapid as well. Yeah, because I was like, right, I can dispatch a Sid, but Stijo, I'm like. He's on a different strategy. Those mediums are going to absolutely murder me at the end, of it, but turns out they didn't. Uh, just to comment on what Charlie said, Stelgio had wing damage. He got wing damage in the VSC restart, which is why he took so long in the pits. Oh, that's peak. Oh dear. Yeah. For real. Ever good. Matty, anything to ask Charlie? No, I was just gonna. I'm just gonna say vindication. Obviously, Charlie's <laughs> been hiding behind hoodie the last couple of uh, races, but then we found out he's a slight fraud. Um, so <laughs> he's take he's taken the reins after one race. So look at him. I'm 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 a proud I'm a proud constructive teammate of him. So I'll I'll stop my bias because the stream doesn't want to hear it. No, it really I mean, doesn't. Yeah, I mean with that hoodie thing, I was like. Oh, I can't. I can't live up to this. And then obviously, hoodie's gone. I've just gone straight through. So maybe it's something. But yeah, so maybe I am it's... pretty sure I'm due a penalty anyway. Yeah, but you're oh, like, like you're like five seconds up the road from the Tay and Sid, so I think you should be fine. If but... it's more than ten seconds, I should be fine. My ending result. Because obviously. obviously it's... Sector two tier laid, which I wouldn't personally right. say it was either fault because I sent it up the inside of him, and I don't know whether I've missed the apex or not, but I'm pretty sure I went just that bit too much deep, and he's turned in, and the game's just locked my side pod onto his tire. Yeah, I was meant to ask what happened with tier because obviously tier was at the front. He could have been on for a win yeah. if he had a nice battle view, but obviously his race got Dude. ended on lap one. When I when I last raced with him back in EU four, I think it was, he was quite. He's got it better, which mm. is that biggest surprise to me. So fair play to him. Uh, fair play, but tier late for you listening. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna fight that penalty because I personally don't think I was in the wrong. All right then. Thank you, Charlie, and congratulations again on that win. Thank you. Right. Then obviously now this will be the end of the stream. Obviously, if you would like to join, join the cost cost racing. Obviously, um, join join the Discord. The races are usually at. Uh, we have the EU races at 9 p.m. UK time uh, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, that's the free tiers, and then we have AM and American tiers at the at night, also at nine nine o'clock. But oh, that's Eastern time. Obviously, the AM two race will be in a few hours time if you want to come back for that. So obviously, without further ado, that is end of stream. We will see you in two weeks for Brazil. There you go.